Hello, this is Leo. Today we have a sneak peek at the 320. Furious 320. Cool name. I'm just going to cut to the chase. If you want to see the unboxing, you can stay tuned for the second half. The 320 is basically built like a cage. Everything is in it, including the battery. The material is a kind of carbon material that you get, similar to a DIY F550 plate. Those plates are built around it. If you look at the prototype, it's just a cage. And those white stuff are just covers. So it's made of a much stronger material. The 320 uses a 4S LiPo battery, 14.8 volts basically. The battery fits really tightly. There's not much room for you to misplace the battery actually, it just fits right there. I like the fact that it's enclosed within the cage, very well protected. If you have a monitor or a pair of goggles, the OSD tells you the balance of the voltage. This is the LiPo cage that I was talking about. It fits the LiPo battery perfectly. The LiPo uses a XT60 which is also popular in racing quadcopters. I like the fact that there's no wires hanging out, it just fits into that perfect spot. I took it for a test and I could fly this baby up to about 3.4 volts per cell and then it drops. So you definitely want to get one of this, a LiPo alarm, LiPo beeper. You can pick one up at any hobby stores or I'll provide a link below for you. One of the key features of the 320 is the tilt rotors. Basically if you move your sticks forward, your rotors tilt forwards. Vice versa, if you pull it back, it will move the rotors backwards. You can also turn the knobs um, to give it a fixed pitch, um, constant pitch forward or backwards. It doesn't add additional pitch but just a fixed pitch to it. Another two features added to the 320 is one the idling and the safety switch. Idling basically is 5% in throttle. Uh, while we are idling, the props will spin slowly just before takeoff, and then the safety switch that kills it uh, and switches off the motors instantly. You do this by flipping the flight mode switch to position 2. The idling is intended to compensate for the lag in the gyro, especially when you're doing a flip when you drop the throttle all the way and bring it back up. There are three modes of flying, primary, intermediate and advanced for acrobatic flying. A few nice lights added to this 320, you have the headlights, the tail lights, and then we have the turn sickness as usual. The weight is about 1.1 kilograms with the battery and that's 2.4 pounds. So yes, you gotta register with FAA if you fly in the US. Here I'm showing you how to set your fixed ID. My last tip for you, when you get a 320, the first thing you want to do is to bind it with a fixed ID. There's a feature that comes with the 320, it's, it's a really good feature actually, it's the loss and recovery alarm system. By turning off the radio, you hear a loud beep, just like this. With a fixed ID, you get a unique instant bind with the radio transmitter without having to disconnect your battery again. So if you're trying to find your lost quadcopter, you could actually turn it off and turn it on your radio and then follow the sound.
Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna rotate the, the uh, motor.